Hello everyone and welcome to a Music Theory Minute. My name is Floyd Richmond and we're going to look at voice leading rules today. This is a comprehensive set of rules that should help you write good music. Number one, include all chord members, root, third, and fifth when possible. Number two, when something must be doubled, double the root if possible, the fifth as the next preference, and the third as the last preference. Note, with diminished chords, there is an important exception. The preferred doubling is the third. When something must be omitted, omit the fifth and triple the root rather than doubling the third. Avoid objectionable parallel motions such as parallel unisons, octaves, and fifths. Keep upper voices within an octave of adjacent voices. Permit the bass to use wider intervals. Generally avoid cross-voicing having the tenors, for example, sing higher than the altos. The melody should usually be in the highest voice, although some exceptions to this are permitted, especially in barbershop, men's choir, and arrangements for low instruments. Harmonies sound different and lower and higher registers. Use your ear to determine what sounds good in each register. Larger intervals should be used for lower registers. When placing the third or fifth in the bass, Give the bass space for the best blend. Observe tendency tones, seven to eight and four to three, or three to four, for example, but especially do so when those notes, those scale degrees are found in outer voices. Move from one chord to the next with as many voices moving by step or same as possible. Write interesting parts for all voices when possible. No one wants to sing long passages that use just a few notes. Thank you for joining us today for a Music Theory Minute. Be sure to like and subscribe.